On the eleventh day of Christmas my true love gave to me Eleven puffins puffing. That's as far as we're singing today too. Now, I'm gonna put my guitar away again. And today we're gonna draw puffins. Now, puffins are quite fascinating birds. I've seen them in Newfoundland. They're quite beautiful. And uh, the only thing is, I haven't seen many puffins puffing bagpipes. So I had to teach a few, actually. I just had to draw them. You can see in here, these are some of my sketches that I did for the picture. And again, there's the painting above it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start really simply to draw, well, to draw a puffin. So I'm using, today I'm using a 4B pencil. We've talked about pencils in some of the last uh, postings. And I also wanted to point something out that I do have a pencil sharpener. I have a whole bunch of pencil sharpeners. There's a really fantastic old Panasonic that just keeps going. But this is also a wonderful piece of pencil sharpening high tech. It's a piece of sandpaper glued to a little piece of foam core. And it's a wonderful thing because all you do is just roll your pencil on there and you've got a nice sharp point. So it's something to keep in mind. Now, for the puffins. Now once again, let's just do a ground line just so know where we're going to go. We're not going to use the bottom of the paper. We're going to raise it up a little bit. Some people draw right to the bottoms if that's the bottom there picture. Now, next thing we're going to do is those guys are all going the, that way, but we're going to have them go the opposite way. What we're going to do is we're going to start up and we got to see now a puffin is sort of we're going to do a curve like this. And we're going to start off, we're going to do a body here. So we'll do a sort of squish circle and a squish circle right here. And so, and then we'll connect those. And we'll bring it down. Now the legs down here, we're going to have them walking. So what we'll do is we'll put one leg back. We'll just do them like little triangles. And the other one, let's put, oh, let's put a little piece right on here. And then for the other one, let's have him just come out like this. So he's marching along. You could put him almost anywhere. So there's the two of them. Now, the next thing is the beak. A beak is really big on a puffin, so it's a good thing to go to the library or check online. It's great when you've got a book. And the beak is like a triangle that's sort of flattened off at the end. Whoops, I've got to be careful that I don't put the wrong curve on there. And it's got the big curve right here. They're really fascinating birds. Now, the mouth comes right out here. I mean, the yeah, the mouth. And then what we do is we've got to have the cheek. Now see, the puffins have these cheeks. Nice big cheeks. Because actually this is a really wide part on the bird. And then they've got their eyes right here. Sitting just above that cheek. And they have a little piece that goes up like this. It's the cutest little thing. And we can put a little circle in there for the puffin's eye. And now for his beak, let's just put these other picture these other shapes in here. There's a dark one right there. Let's just do a dark one right there. And then there's a light line. And then there's a few more. I think this one is the orange one right at the front. And oops, there is a light area at the front. You'll have to check that. And then it comes back and he's got this black. Comes back like this to the back. And then a curve to the front again. Now, they have, they're actually quite proud little birds, so they have a chest that sticks out a bit. So we're going to put this chest sticking out a bit. And then they've got this little tail that comes off, the tail feathers. We're such a plump little bird. They're amazing flyers and swimmers. To think that a bird can swim underwater and then come out and fly away is absolutely fantastic. Now, this puffin had to be playing bagpipes. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the bagpipes right here. And first of all, we have to have, I think this is the, no, this is not the canter. I should have known. I have a friend who plays the bagpipes. He'll be mad that I don't remember. Okay. Jeff, forgive me. Then what we've got is we've got this front part, whoops, that goes out. And this is the part that comes back behind, underneath the wing. So we'll just put it like this, up like this, and then down. 
And this is the part that gets played. I apologize that I don't remember the names. Now we're going to bring the wing around like this and we're just going to make it look like he's playing with those feathers right there. We'll continue that down to here. And on the other side of the feathers, whoops, we'll put it sticking out a little bit further. We got to have, up here, we have to have the bagpipes sticking out. So the pipes themselves. And they go up. And to make them look like they're in space, rather than just do a line across, remember we do these squish circles like this, coming around like that, these squish circles. And what we're going to do is the same thing here. We're going to do is a, a squish circle almost like a little wheel at the top. Squish circle. And I do a few little, I think they're pretty fancy. Bagpipes are very expensive because they're so flat fancy. I didn't like the sound of them until I did Brave Highland Heart and then I really started liking bagpipes and now I think they're quite beautiful. As long as you don't play them in the house. Most Scottish people would agree to that. And if they don't, I don't think they have many friends. Now, I know that you should check the bagpipes. I'm just, I'm not being exact here. I'm just playing with it. But these would be coming through here. And of course, they have this cord that attaches them. So we'll put the cord, cord, cord. And then they always have this little tassel. So, now what we would do is we would just have to darken these other spots, paint around that. In fact, I don't have my eraser here, but I would just erase some of the lines that I don't need. And I would have my puffin puffing away as he goes through his, his little song. Anyways, there we are. That is the puffin puffing. So that's day 11 of 12 days of drawing. Thanks for joining me, and we'll uh, see you for the bears tomorrow. Thank you.